saying? I, I take them home to a full cup of milk. What, what we married for? What we married for? I'm not your mama. I'm your wife. I just pulled a 13 hour shift. I just knew I was gonna come home and have, have some food on the goddamn stove. Yeah. And now you playing, man. <laughs> Damn. You been doing for like That's two or three months, it. man. What is it? You don't pay no goddamn bill. I pay the car notes, the house notes, family trips. I pay for. That's what you're supposed to do. Man, you know what? Ride and protect. Ride and protect. That's what you're supposed to do. Why? I can't get no food in the house then. Man. Huh? Man, you can hear the frustration of his voice, man. Like, he been saying it. He been trying to tell her for a minute. He been trying to, like, explain to her for a minute how to be a wife and how to take care of him and, and, and do her part in the household. Sounds like he's doing all he's supposed to be doing. Like she said, right? You're doing what you're supposed to do. Just because you're doing what you're supposed to do doesn't allow your woman to just take it for granted. See, now, now that you're married and you're together, now she feels like she got you literally by the balls and you pretty much got to, what, get divorced or have a, a reason to, to, to move forward without her in life, right? And certainly you're going to take a loss by doing so as a man. And see, this is one of the reasons why it's just hard to justify getting married unless you know for a fact, which is hard to tell sometimes because women can be chameleons. But if you know for a fact a woman enjoys and wants to be nurturing, wants to help, wants to be part of the team, wants to be part of the solution, and you don't have to take her kicking and dragging. This is literally what I mean by that. And see, so he asks, what are we married for? What are we married for? And this is a, a good question to ask women before you get married obviously right is when women say okay well you got to put a ring on my finger and you know commit to her what are we committing to right as a, as a couple right as a man what am i committed to and in, in, in getting from a woman in exchange for my commitment in exchange for the stability i'm bringing mentally and physically emotionally all the things i bring to the household as a man the solutions I bring as a man, what does that get in return, right? That's really what that question is about. If we are a team, then where are you in that equation? And she said, I'm your wife. But what does a wife mean? You said, I'm your wife, I'm not your mother. Okay, well, as a wife, what, what does a man get? And we could sit here and run out on the list, but do you actually provide that? And see, you know, see how she put the pizza to him? Like that little slice of pizza, like you've been working all day. Here you go. Here you go a slice. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this shit up, man. And it's like, as a man, if you get frustrated and you, you know, you got your emotions bottled up, and then that just puts you over the top for a second, right? And you might say something you don't really want to say, right? You might say something you regret. These are the thing. These are the traps like that, right? Where she knows she's wrong, but she's gonna act naive and act dumb about it. Provide and protect, provide and protect. That's what you're supposed to do, right? I mean, she spelled it out. Perfect example, perfect example. Every time she opened her mouth, she proved his point. And I'm hoping he's listening. So his question was, how come he can't expect that same thing from you? Something that you're supposed to do. It's obviously something he's always talked about or it's something he's mentioned before. Cause he sounds real frustrated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Like he's at his wit's end. Let's go ahead and get to the next clip. Keep it rolling. I rose. I, my man don't cook, clean, wash nothing. Don't do none of that household stuff. He come in the house, he sit down. I get my behind off that couch, go heat his food up. If he can come in the house 2.30 a.m., that's after midnight, and say I want a sandwich, I'm getting my sleepy butt out that yeah. bed and go make a sandwich. I'm that's mm. what I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to do. Put the cheese on that thing, too. Oh, yeah. Cheese on that thing, too. Wow. Stuff, getting some shoes and barefoot and pregnant it's about being agreeable yeah, right. about being cooperative yeah. and about listening Working and that's together. letting the man leave so i can do this again like, yeah. like you said it's all independent and independence is two different things absolutely i was independent in the army struggle 
senior leaders struggle because mm. all they have to do is reach out and ask for help. Independent means doing it alone, mm -hmm. by yourself. Right. Independence means, okay, yeah, I can still go to college, I can still contribute, oh, I can yes. still do this. I had that stuff all wrong mm -hmm. in my relationship with my with, with my son's dad. Had it all wrong. I won't do it again because this man get to leave and I'm holding on to all his ankles, Achilles and everything. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. She kept it all the way real. And I mean, again, it depends on the household, how you, how you guys are built. But I feel like for the most part, it's just really about having a wife that's willing to play the role and play whatever role that's needed for the household to thrive. Not just get by, but thrive. And you see what she mentioned, right? She mentioned about being agreeable, cooperative, right? It doesn't mean that the woman is just saying yes, sir, master to her man and just listening to a man and, just, and doing everything he says. It's being open-minded. It's being you know, listening with the intent of being a solution, listening with the intent to reach an agreement, agreeing to disagree, right? Figuring out what your roles are and taking full accountability for it. There's women out there that just, no matter what you tell them, no matter how much sense and logic you break down, it'll never make sense to them and they'll never acknowledge that it makes sense to them and they'll never try to work on themselves and they'll never be agreeable so that you can go to the next phase and go to the next step. It's hard to work with somebody like that, especially over time. So as a woman, when you say, okay, well, you want a man to commit to you and be with you and be in relationship with you and be loyal to you, what's in it for a man? What's in it for a man, especially if you aren't agreeable? Now look down, pay attention. Look down here on this pot. <laughs> yes. You see that? See, you ain't paying attention and you ain't gonna learn how to cook. Yeah. And that's the reason why your mama ain't got a man now. That makes sense. You're gonna end up being just like him. Look in the damn pot. That's it's called fun. catch a man stew. Yeah. I'm gonna teach you this to young, because we ain't bringing no more of you bastards up in here. Oh, man. Listen, man, she's being all the way too real, right? Ladies, there's nothing wrong with working with a man. There's nothing wrong with being of value. There's nothing wrong with getting in where you fit in. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with getting part of the team. There's nothing wrong with getting 50% help, 60% help, 70%, you know. You got to calculate the help now. You know, you out here doing it 100% yourself and struggling. But let me know what y'all think, man. This is another one. We're just out here trying to, you know, get solutions, man, have a conversation. Hit them comments hard. Like, subscribe, share. Like, subscribe, share. I appreciate you guys for watching and listening. Until next time, be easy. Don't.